Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jordy Clark. I'm a local real estate broker and investor here in the state of Utah. And I'm gonna show you five ways to go look for distressed properties. So let's go hop in. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, so we're here driving around looking for telltale signs of a motivated seller. So right here, sign number one, a lot of trinkets in the yard, a lot of stuff. Um, they can typically be motivated sellers. If they've got just tons of stuff in the yard, it looks like someone's half moved out, half not, um, hoarders, or the yard is distressed. So number one thing to look for is bad yards. Um, we'll kind of keep driving here for a minute, look for something else. Um, if we look right here, this yard definitely is not really a yard. You can tell the grass is dead. Obviously it's winter in Utah, but if we compare it with this house right here, this, this yard's in great shape. Um, again, these don't necessarily mean that that is a motivated seller, but it's you're a lot more likely to find a motivated seller if you can find a distressed house. See that patch on the roof where it's a different color, shingled? You can actually, if you look close, man, they got patches everywhere. So typically bad roofs are expensive. Um, doing a new roof, depending on the area of the country you're at, can range anywhere from five to $20,000. And a lot of people don't have that kind of capital laying around to uh, improve their roof or even fix it. So sometimes you can find a motivated seller because they just know there's a ton of deferred maintenance to the house. So as we keep driving around, we'll look for other signs. So number two is bad roof. So as you're driving around, if you find a property like uh, some of these that we're finding today, you'll wanna drive, write down the address and then you can go to the county records and look up who owns that house and if their mailing address is different. If their mailing address is different, it's likely a landlord and most landlords are accidental landlords. And what that means is they bought a house, lived in it for a little while, and then circumstances changed. Maybe they got a job promotion or job transfer and they had to move across the country and they didn't wanna sell or they couldn't sell and they made it a rental property and they're not the professional uh, real estate investor that would maintain the house, would take care of it the way it needs to be taken care of and manage the tenants properly. So a lot of the times you can find good deals on good rental properties by finding an accidental landlord who's a don't wanter. Okay, cool. So another one is if you just look at the exterior like this house right here, the paint is faded and chipping. Uh, the windows look like the seals are popped because they've got duct tape around it. That can usually be a really good indicator that uh, property needs work and could be potentially a good deal. So that's number three is looking for exterior houses that have a lot of work needed on them. So a lot of the times if you look at windows, um, like on this house, um, if they're not double pane vinyl, they're single pane aluminum, a lot of the times um, windows are a very big expense as well. And if windows haven't been updated, it might mean that someone doesn't have the cash and the rest of the house could be outdated. So um, number four is look for old windows on these houses. Guys, the last thing you wanna look for when you're out driving around, um, and just depending on the climate of what's going on, um, papers on the front doors or windows that are usually a telltale sign that someone's getting evicted or foreclosed on. And both of those can be a motivated seller. Um, if, if, if it's an eviction going on, the landlord is probably so sick of being a landlord that you know they may sell the property to you at a pretty good discount. Um, if it's a foreclosure, then you might be able to help someone out and save them from having a foreclosure on their record, um, catch them up on payments, maybe do something with seller financing, um, which I do have a video on seller financing, so stay tuned to that. 
uh, or go look through the channel and find the video on creative and seller financing. So with all of that being said, guys, five different ways that you can find motivated sellers even in today's market. Um, please smash the like button if you liked it and enjoyed and learned something. Also, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of when I've got new videos releasing to help you on your path to financial independence.